Hi guys, got a request from Andrews RC to have a look at a friction motor, or as I prefer to call them, a flywheel motor. This is the chassis out of that toy camper van I was working on recently. And the motor just pops out of it if I bend it the right way. Oh, there you come. There we go. So there we are. There's a friction motor. It's very simple. There's a gear on the back wheel, a uh, back axle, that drives another gear in there that then drives the shaft that the flywheel is attached to so that you build up momentum by pushing the car forwards and the weight of the flywheel keeps the wheels spinning. For longer than they would if the flywheel wasn't there. Now, I'll try and do that a bit slowly and a bit close up. So, wheels, axle, gear, white gear. Inside, we can just about see there's a blue gear. If I turn it over the other way, the blue gear is what the white gear turns. The white gear is a big gear going to a small blue gear and then the blue gear is a two-part gear small and large so the larger size of the blue gear then drives the small white gear attached to the flywheel so that we have a, a step up gearing so a small turn of the wheel of the road wheels gives us multiple turns of the flywheel so it builds up speed. Now there's a bit of white plastic on there and as far as I know all that's for is to make a noise. I don't think it has any function at all other than making a noise. But that's it. That's a friction motor or flywheel motor. So I hope that answers the question.